love that piece. <laughs> The poem is called True Story About a Woman Singing on the D Train. <laughs> her pink eyeshadow matched her pink pants perfectly. <laughs> Her hair was thick and curly, and her vibe was otherworldly. She got on at Tremont in the Bronx. You've seen her. She got her headphones on, and she's not afraid to sing along. So as the D train lays the track, eyes closed, head back. She parts her lips and starts to rip it a cappella, and I swear to God, her voice could have been the key that freed Nelson Mandela. <laughs> and if I was from Cali, I would tell her, girl, I'm hella feeling you. I, I don't even look at you. Cause I'm afraid that if I do, you'll stop singing. And by now, you're bringing light into this underground tunnel. A new kind of light into this concrete jungle. You are bringing back the beauty into this beautiful struggle. So sing, my sister, sing. Because yes, it is a struggle. So sing for the African sister over there. Cause I can tell just by her stare, your voice is taking her back to Sunday mornings in the choir. And sing it just a little higher, and you might catch the tough guys who just got on the train speaking to women like the ignorant when they think they spit in game. Sister, sing it from deep down in your belly to remind them from where they came. No, do not be afraid to sing like pouring rain. Because the reason we sing in churches is because we know the music saves. So sing, sing to free our people from every type of prison. From the bars of Rikers Island to the lives on television and by now, by now she's straight up singing like a woman on a mission so I just went ahead and told her. Just to sing cause love is crazy. And sing for little babies. Sing to change the system. And sing for other women. Sing cause people stressing and they need to relax. Sing to bring that woman's children home from Iraq. Sing to make us listen and sing to break tradition. If tradition's only telling us that we're supposed to be quiet, that we are breaking that tradition, and we sing in the writing. Because we need more music in the way that we spin. I think we need more music in the way that we live. And we need more music to get us out of trouble. And we need more music to be down with the struggle. So say we need more music. We need more music. So say we need more music. We need more music. And that is why I told her, sing like you see flowers, like you're singing in the shower, like Alicia Keys magically blessed you with her powers. <laughs> Just to sing, because your song doesn't have to follow orders. And no cop can ever stop your voice from crossing borders. So sing for revolution and sing for revelation. Sing me one more song, because I gotta get off at the next station. <laughs> and when I do, when I do, I'm going right back into a world where so much is going wrong, and I just really, really need to hear your songs.